I'm taking her home with me today. Can't do that. The parents will hold the school responsible. Besides, you can't leave this. A total stranger. So what do you suggest I do? Win her heart, little by little. Get to know her. You never can tell. I think you're right. I'll do as you say. Oh. 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 Yeah, they're playing Luther. Mm -hmm. Are they at your siesta? Diana, Diana, you've not had your siesta. And you're busy playing Ludo with your father. How's that supposed to be? Huh? Diana, before I close my eyes and I open knees, then I want to see you in your room, on your bed, having your siesta. Diana! Is she sleeping? Okay. What's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of what? Wait, let me ask you. Has it gotten to the point of insulting me in front of my daughter? Sending her away? I don't understand what you're saying. All I know is that I don't want you to teach her how to be irresponsible. That's it. You see, I will no longer take all this insult you're giving me in this house. I will not take it again. Then if you will not take the insult, then buckle up and go out there like every other young man and look for a job. See, look for what to do. You see, you talk as if you don't know how my business went down the drain. Was it like this before? Was it like this before? So because your business went down the drain, you want to remain down there. Hmm? You want to remain down there. I know your time, Cosmos. You are just a lazy man. That's it. You want me to be suffering. You want me to handle everything in this house. Of course, I thank God I'm working on something. Mm, look at this one. You are working on nothing. Cosmos, say the truth now. You're working on nothing. Cosmos, you're a very lazy man. Because you just want to sit down in this house and be playing Ludo with my daughter up and down while I take care of the responsibilities. But my darling, I will not do that anymore. I am tired of shouldering your responsibilities. I am done. Cure it. Mama, so that was a cleaner. Give me one more bottle. I need it one was... more bottle. One more bottle. Or should I give you one crate? Uh, I said it. Okay, I give me one way you don't drink. Joe. They they ask for one, one for the road, one for the top for me. Give me one crate. I want that. Okay, I bet. Pay me one way you don't drink. I bet. I bet. I bet. <laughs> I don't even have money to pay for my daughter's cookie. And you are asking me to pay for a drink. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, Bama, please don't be angry. Uh, how much does this gentleman owe you? 2,500. 2,500. Let me see. 
autonomy. Okay. Uh, take that. Don't worry about the change. Keep it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everything. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, okay. Okay. All correct. Thank you. No problem. Thank no you. problem. Thank you. Just like uh, somebody that saved home Israel. Uh, um, this is my card. If you need anyone to talk to about whatever is pro uh, troubling you, uh, feel free to call me. This guy, it seems I turned it off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's all right. Um, you look drunk. Uh, maybe you should start going home. You know what? Why don't I take you home? You still remember the road to your house, don't you? Uh, uh, that road is really zigzag. But uh, I will go. I will remember the road. Okay. Uh, come now, let's go. Uh, take it easy, y'all. No? Uh, it's very, very wrong. I like, know. He's a fool. He doesn't know what to do. Let's just go. They don't have to remind him. He's a fool. He's a fool. Yes. We know, we know that. Ah, Diana, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for daddy. You're waiting for which daddy? Diana, please get yourself upstairs and go sleep. Which way is you're waiting for daddy? What's that? Mommy, no. No, no, no. I can't go upstairs. I'm going to stay out till daddy comes back. I don't like the way you treat daddy. <laughs> Look who's talking. What do you know? Diana, get yourself upstairs and get ready to sleep. Now. I said now. I'm talking. You get up. Because it's not. I'm waiting for that. And make sure you take your shower before sleeping, okay? Look at this one. Look at this drunkard. Look at him. You've gone out there to drink yourself to stupor. Hmm? That's all you know. Useless man. Irresponsible human being. You know what? Make sure you don't come upstairs. You will sleep here. Useless man. Oh, there are your uncle. Yeah, I think. Uncle Michael. Uh, hi. How are you? Um, um, I brought you this. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Go ahead. Thank you. You like it? You like it? Yeah, go back to your class. So you didn't get my own gift? Uh, don't worry, I'll get it. I just got it from. You don't get my next time. I'm not going to call her. She's so pretty. Hey, baby. How you? Uh -huh. I almost forgot to tell you that an uncle gave me this gift. Which uncle? How did you say the gift? Which uncle gave you this? 
The uncle normally comes to see my form teacher. Do not collect anything from anybody. Good. Yeah? Except your mom and myself. Okay. Now, maybe one day you teach me how to drive. Oh. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Um, let's go to the room. Baby. Let's go to the room. Hmm? Do you hear? Baby. Baby. Diana. How are you? Reaction. Good afternoon. Take. This is for you. So why is it that you always bringing me gifts? My dad said I shouldn't collect gifts from strangers. But I'm not a stranger. I'm your father. What do you mean? My father. You're not my father. No, I'm serious. You are my daughter. Please okay, don't tell me that again. Didn't you see Diana on the playing ground? I saw her. I wanted to give her the gifts I bought for her, but she refused just because I told her I was her father. Do you want to ruin everything? Look, all I want is for you to get me her water. That's very risky. I could get sacked. <laughs> or even arrested for that. Nobody's going to arrest you. Nobody's going to sack you. Okay, okay, leave the, leave the blood in look. All I want is get me some nail clippings from her, so at least I can run a DNA test to make sure I'm the father. Thank you. Thank you. Very hey. good Pretty good. How are you? Good. How was school today? School was very fine, except for one uncle that told me my father. Which uncle? The uncle, normally, the uncle I told you about the other day that bought me gifts. He brought me gifts today, but I refused. He said he's not a stranger. He's my father. What a ridiculous joke. 
And what did you tell him when he said that to you? He trusts me now. I told him not to come near me again. Hmm. That's my girl. Give me five. <laughs> Next time, if that man tells you that, report to me. Okay. I'll personally deal with him. Don't do anything. We're going to deal with him. Yeah, deal with him. My brother, thank you so much. Thank you for the help. Oh, thank you for that deal. You know, I was so wasted. When I mean wasted, I don't know what I would have done if he didn't come to help me out. I'm telling you. You know, the what happened was uh, I kept there was something about your face that kept me looking at you. I said to myself, this face looks familiar. But now that you brought up the subject, let me ask you. Did you by any chance go to UNN? Yes. What year? 2009. That is... <laughs> now it is... We went to the same university. Graduated the same year. You know, I thought as much because I was like, look, man, I think I've seen once or twice. Keep, like, placing that, you know. What do you do now? Uh, nothing much, just importing. I, I actually import electronics. Wow, know, just... wow. That's a big one. Big <laughs> one. <laughs> well, I, I used to be a, a big uh, computer dealer. But my business uh, went down the drain. And ever since then, I've been finding it difficult even to feed my family. My brother, it has not been easy. Mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> Martin. Well, my brother, the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Oh, yeah, yeah. You shall surely rise again. Yeah. Matter of fact, I will help you rise again. <laughs> my brother, thank you. Ah, I don't know how. Oh, I appreciate you. Mommy, welcome. Welcome, Daddy. Oh, how are you? <laughs> what have you been doing? Let me see. What are you doing with your daddy's phone? Diana. You're playing game. Yeah. Are you done with your homework? Yeah, I'm done with my assignment. Are you sure? Of course. Then I wait, go. Bring your nails. Yeah. What happened to your fingernails? My form teacher. Did what? She cleaned my fingernails. Your form teacher caught yeah. your fingernails not cleaning. Then what did you do? So you were just there moping at her while she was cutting your nails? Then how could you? This is absurd. Why would she cut her nails? You have to find out tomorrow. Come, let's go to the room. Is she the one that cut your fingernails? Why would you cut my daughter's fingernails? I don't like people tampering with my daughter. I asked her to do it. This is the man who said he's my father. <laughs> don't mind him. He's only joking. Do you know him? Yeah, yeah. We went to the same university together. Hmm? Hey. Yeah. We need to talk. Good. Go to the class. I'll meet you soon, huh? What's that supposed to mean? How dare you tell my daughter rubbish that you are her father? I was only telling her the truth. What truth? And by the way, what are you doing with her fingernails? DNA tests to prove that I am her father. You are out of your mind to think that my daughter is yours. You know what? I am going to sue you. 
I will sue you for having the F1 tree to even take my daughter's fingernails without permission. She is my daughter too. You know what? I'll see you in court. I will see you in court. And I don't want to ever see you close to my daughter again. I noticed Diana have not been going to school. What happened? Did you honestly ask me that question? Well, probably I'm asking myself. Maybe you are asking yourself for real. If you know you want Diana to go to school, why haven't you paid for her school fees? You're there asking me questions. But for Christ's sake, you have some money with you that you can just use this money and then pay her school fees so that maybe later I'll, 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 I'll give you back. Eh? Why are you doing this for Christ's sake? Eh? You are just trying to jeopardize the future of this girl. Hey, hey, hey. You are the one jeopardizing her future. If you know you want her to learn to go to school, simply go out there and look for a job like every other able-bodied man. Okay? Take care of your responsibility, Cosmos. Don't be asking me stupid questions. You think I'm not trying? Mm -mm. I can see how you're trying. You're trying very well. Hmm? So you are not bluffing when you call to ask for my address? Please, I want to see the lab result. You think I'm lying? Of course you're lying. <laughs> okay. Think. What? This is not true. What is the meaning of this? Of course, there is a mix-up somewhere, and you know that. Mm. <laughs> you see the love that did this? They are the best when it comes to DNA results. They have integrity. And how am I sure that this result is from the lab? How am I sure? Because men looking at this, it has fake all written around it. You know very well this is not true. Listen to me, Fidelis. Diana is not your daughter. Stay away from my family. Be warned. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> I want to have a word with you. Okay, I am listening to you. A certain man by the name Fidelis came to you for a DNA test. I want you to help me call him and tell him there was a mix-up somewhere. A mix-up? Mm -hmm. I am sorry, we don't do certain here. We are professionals. And our lab is known for the integrity all over the world, so we don't make mistakes. <laughs> no one is above mistakes. You could just look for something to tell him. You could tell him that the results were interchanged, or that his paternity test came out negative. Young lady, do you know the meaning of what you're saying? That's deceit. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Name your price. 
Sorry to disappoint you. I don't have the price. Okay. I should be on my way now. It's okay. Take care of yourself. <laughs> I sure will. Oopsie. <laughs> my bad. Uh, excuse me. Can you see? Please sit. Well, wait, it's not as if I'm so comfortable with what you said, but uh, I've seen reason why you have a deal with you. Uh, let's meet up in the hotel. <laughs> why would you want us to meet up in the hotel? Well, uh -huh. call me anytime you're ready for me. <laughs> Sir, I am sorry. There was a mix up in the results you gave me. Mm. The name on the results were exactly. The DNA result you gave me is not yours. That's actually the reason why I fought you to explain to you. Uh, I am really sorry. I am I'm so ashamed of myself. Again, let me ask you. What rubbish mistake is this you're talking about? No, I'm asking my friend because, <laughs> let me tell you, don't try to play any stupid games with me. Do you understand? Or you're getting very hot with me. What rubbish mistake? L listen, if you know you made any mistake with my name on this thing, better correct it. Is that clear? And if you're still confused about whether it is my name or not, who's we'll that to rectify it? Don't tell me any bloody nonsense about any mistake. Oh, please, please, please calm down. Madam, I better put uh, two cups of the Rica rice. Well, you know, say they owe me 500 naira. I'll give you for weekends, you know. Okay? You know, as they do this, uh, weekend, they just two the Rica cups of rice. Okay? Oh, you see, they owe me 500 naira. Never pay me that one. No, no, but I'll give you the money for the weekend. I'll give you everything. Eh? I tell you, no thanks. Be like this with the say no, eh? Now nah, because of you, now nah, they do this. Eh? I understand, eh? And because it be my customer. Wow. But don't. Hey, Captain, I be we carry on like this. No get bigger now. Hey, me. Understand that? Eh? I didn't see your husband the other day. He just keep up like this, they shine, eh? Okay. 
Sour and consign. Consign me, sir. Hey, leave that one. You know, we keep money for inside house. Now, just to the kit up, they walk up and down for us. They mean you. Who in the kit up for? Wow. That your husband, fine, sir. I saw babes go to rush and wood. You buy your words, who they rush first. <laughs> If you like, said me, did you rush and reach here to die anyone? You know, cause I know they even allow to touch me. <laughs> yes. If, 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 if I reach, I could just go sleep for my bikini. You go look for a way to sleep. And then give me water. Please. You go to do that kind of thing now. You won't make him begin go to do outside. Anywhere where you want to live. If I have one, if I anywhere where you want to live. You know, cause I'm here. I'm going to see you for a weekend now. Yes. All right. Take care, they expect you for a weekend though. Yeah, the money, weekend. don't forget. No one, the weekend. <laughs> it's my friend, that's also credits. Oh, wow. Where are you going to? Now, what kind of question is that? Since when did you start asking me questions about where I'm going to? You're my wife and I should know your whereabouts. You're going out and you're coming in. Mm. <laughs> okay. Maybe you might as well turn into my handbag so you could follow me around town. Oh. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon. How may I help you, please? please? I'm going to room 202. Okay, let me call him on. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> yes, there's a lady here to see you, sir. All right, thank you. Is the room at the table? Okay, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes, one. Hello. You can't do it. <laughs> At least, I'm here now. So, how would I know you kept your own partner? Okay, you don't believe what I told you. You need a pool, right? It's okay. I'll, I'll put a call across to the man so you hear from yourself. Okay. I'll put it on speaker so you can hear what you are saying. Ah, um, hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, I called to apologize once again for the mistake we made on the results we gave you. I, I hope you've gotten the original results, sir. No, ask my friend, because <laughs> let me tell you, don't try to play any stupid games with me. You understand? Or you'll get it very hot with me. Sir, I am really very sorry about the mix-up. Like I told you, sir, no one is above mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sure you've heard from the man yourself. So I've done my own part. So I think it's now left for you to do what you promised. Very well. <laughs> Don't get it. What's out here in this? <laughs> How do you need this? <laughs> yeah. Sign up. Oh, 
Rest in peace, idiot. The poison on this hairpin would kill you before anyone else. Now the secret is safe. It's Uh -huh. So when you test that, what do you just try to? That's it. Get to the next one. Yeah, you are. You see the shame you've cost us. Look at Diana. She can't go to school because you cannot pay for her school fees. Look at the landlord. Landlord has come here to harass us. Why? Because you cannot pay for the house rent. Cosmos, what is all this? What have we done to warrant this? Eh? What kind of disgrace is this? Ah. We're just owing him three months. Just three months. As for Diana, I will try to put her through her studies so that uh, she won't miss out. The landlord will pay him. Will pay him his money. Look at your stupid mouth. We're owing for three months. Cosmos, are you supposed to be owing in the first place? Are you supposed to? I will pay the man next week. I don't like the way you're talking. Your next week will never end. It will never end. So how do you intend to get the money? Please, let me ask you. This is my friend that wants to introduce me to one business like that. Oh. After the business, I know money will come out. Then I'll use the money to, to pay off all this. It doesn't warrant all these insults. Is this your friend you want to collect money from? What if you go to this your so-called friend and he tells you there is no money, that he has no money? What will you do? Would you hold him or what? What would you do? Was pity yourself, man. Eh? Pity yourself and go out there like every other young, able man and look for a job. 
Look for a job, Cosmos. Is that too hard to ask for? Eh? Hey. Newscaster. You know, work hard. Working up and down. Please add that three to the four, Joe. And write the answer. My sweetheart, what will you take those filthy hands off me? What's the reason of all this? Are we fighting? Well, I came to warn you. Stay away from my family, Fidelis. You were the one that said that that lab result you brought was real, right? But I went to that hospital and I realized that that result was forged. All fake. Stay away from our family, Fidelis. I'm warning you. Stay away. Okay, um, sorry. I, I, I don't mean to sound funny, but how exactly did you get your hands on that result? The same way you got hold of the previous result. What is it? What's funny? Do I look like a clown or are you mad? No, no, no. It's just that you are trying to deceive me. Of all people, you are trying to deceive me. Don't you know that Luke called me to tell me that you tried to bribe him to change that result? Or you think I'm not aware of it? Really? Hmm. Then go ask Luke. At least he's in the better position to explain everything to you, right? Fidel is staying away from my family. Diana is not yours. Get that into the stick scores. Stay away. The next time I come here, you will find me. Um, good evening. Hi, good evening. Please, I'm looking for a medical lab scientist by the name of Mr. Luke. He doesn't work here anymore. He doesn't work here anymore. Where, where does he work now? His corpse was found in a hotel a few days ago. His corpse? Yeah. His corpse? You say his corpse. Yes, sir. What is your problem? What are you doing here? We need to talk. Talk about what? I have nothing to say to you. Fine. Then I'll go straight to the police and tell them how you murdered Mr. Luke. What are you saying? I did not murder anyone. You just keep your voice down. Well, I know how you killed Mr. Luke. Yes. I know you arranged to meet him in Hotel Picanto because he told me. I just played along. I knew the game all along. Why did you kill him? Why do you want to kill him? I don't know what you're talking about. For crying out loud, you left me hopeless 10 years ago. What would I have done? Huh? Please, the only father Diana knows is Cosmos. Oh. If not for Cosmos, there wouldn't have been any Diana. What do you mean? Well, the day I gave birth to Diana, I sneaked out of the hospital with the baby I left. Linda, 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 oh. please. No, no, Linda. Please. Please. Please, don't do this. Please. Please. Please, don't do this. Please. I know I wasn't there for you when you were pregnant. 
please, please, please forgive. Please don't kill the innocent man. Please, she's innocent. She's innocent. Daughter, please. <laughs> I promise I will marry you. I will take care of you and the child. Please, please, begging you, please, please, please. I thought you said you never wanted her. I was, I, I, I was confused. I was confused. I was confused. I was happy. Please, 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 don't, don't kill, don't kill her. She's innocent. She's innocent. Yes, don't do it, please. I wanted to throw the baby away. I had no choice. What would I have done? I didn't want the baby to tie me down, so that was why I, I resorted to that. Besides, I couldn't even have aborted the baby because the doctor kicked against that. So, I decided to give birth to the baby and afterwards throw her away. Who knows, maybe someone would have heard her crime and come to her rescue. You are a heartless woman. Very heartless. How would she have survived that thing, being thrown in the dustbin? A heartless woman? Me? One of you! You are a selfish and heartless man, wicked at that. You were duplicating me and the cosmos at the same time, you shameless her. I hope you're not calling me names. You shouldn't even call me names because you were the one sleeping around with all the girls in town. I am a man. Please don't, even, don't give me that bullshit, did you hear me? Don't give me that bullshit. It's not for me, I don't know what you're saying and that's it, fine now. By the way, why did you even come back? I came back to see my sister, I didn't come to destroy you. I came back to see my sister in the school. When are you people closing now? By two. By two? Be patient. I saw it to you now. Wait, today you want to just carry, carry me home. Be patient now. Be patient. People are even going and... Yeah, maybe they're going to somewhere or something. Wait a... That's Linda. You know her? Yeah, that's Linda. I... We dated in, in, in university. That's Diana's mother. The little girl is Diana. Of course. I could have sworn you pregnated a lady, not until I saw her father. The little girl looks exactly like you, I'm telling you. She has your look, she has your look. You know, you know, you know, you, do you know them? When I put two and two together, I knew Diana's age, then I knew that she was my daughter. Just to make sure, I arranged to have her fingernails cut, and the rest of the story, you know. Hmm. So you think you can walk in and walk out of my life at will? You have something else coming. That girl is my daughter. I want her back. <laughs> you would never have her. I would fight you with the last drop of my blood. Good. Then be ready to spend the rest of your life in jail when I go to tell the police how you killed Mr. Luke. I did not kill Mr. Luke. I don't know what you're saying. Mind what you're saying. I give you two days to return my daughter. I give you two days to return my daughter to my house and then you yourself will come and stay with her because she needs someone to look after her. What are you talking? What do you even take me for? A house girl? Then be ready to spend the rest of your life in jail. Because I will go straight to the authorities and reveal your secret to the authorities. I have no secrets. So just go to hell. Two days. Two days is what I give you or you face the consequences. Reasons, what is your problem? Why are you picking your biscuit like that? I hope all is well. All is not well. I'm not fine. You and mommy are always quarreling. Don't you and mommy just live in peace for once in this house? Princess, we are living in peace. It's just that at, at times your mommy comes back home over stressed and they lashes out. She's always shouting at you, always. I don't like it. Come. My daughter, mm -hmm. it's okay. Don't worry, I will handle all that. Mm -hmm. Are you not my daughter? I'm your daughter. Are you not second mommy? I'm second mommy. Good. Enjoy your biscuit. When this one finished, I get you another one. Where's the elephant biscuit?
извините, толку. When you come in like this, you have to greet me first. Before you start asking me, talk about what? Well, I've um, I've been thinking. I don't think I'd um, I would want this relationship again. I don't want this marriage. What? I want a divorce. What one? You heard me. I yeah. want a divorce, Cosmos. I don't think I'll be able to handle you anymore. What of our daughter? She needs me. Huh. Your daughter? That's the main reason why I want out in this union. Because she looks up to you as a role model. I really don't want her to end up in lazy ass like you. But what is wrong with you? Why do you use any slightest opportunity yet to insult me? Why? Who is insulting me? Who insults me? You are the one insulting yourself, not me. Please just take me out of it, okay? Meanwhile, I'm filing a divorce. Make sure you sign it. Well, um, I am not game for that. If you're filing a divorce, I'm not in. See, you're my wife. I married you. This marriage is for better or worse. Understand? I mean, for Christ's sake. Okay. You have every opportunity to put your house in a very, very, very comfortable way than sitting here to rubbish. Cosmos, you must divorce me. Cosmos, you must divorce me. Whether you like it or not, you have to divorce me. You have to divorce me. I will not divorce you. Sorry. Very, very sorry. You don't just divorce like that. Marriage is for better or worse. Mommy, I want to go back to school. Please pay for my school first. Not my responsibility to pay for your school fees. And you know very well that I've been paying for this for some time now. That's why your father has refused to work. It is his job to take care of your school fees and not mine. But mommy, you know he doesn't have the money. Just please, Diana, pay for my fees. Diana, I've told you, I will not pay for that school fee. I've made up my mind not to do it and that's fine now. Your father should man up and take care of his responsibilities in this house. That is part of his job as the man of the house. So, this discussion is over. But mommy, I've thought it's... Oh. It's okay. I want you to sleep. This conversation is over. Sleep. Mommy, please. Diana, I'm done with this conversation. Why is your face like this? You look really worried. Yeah. Honestly, I'm worried. Yeah. Why? What is the problem? Is it not my ex? Eh? My ex has been disturbing me up and down that he wants me back. I don't guess. Uh, does he not know you are married? Of course he does. He knows I'm married. But he just wants to ruin my marriage for me. But I will not allow him to do that. No. <laughs> but if someone sees you talking like this now, they will think you really love your husband. You that don't even allow him to touch you. Uh oh, -uh, stop that now, babe. That I don't allow him to touch me doesn't mean that I don't love him. Of course, I love my husband. I love my home. It's just that he is so lazy. His laziness drives me crazy. That's all. I just want him to get up like every other man and work hard. Go out there and look for a job. What's my crime? 
since it's like this, eh, I would advise you block your ex's number. Block him on social media. If he continues to disturb you, you tell your husband to go and warn him. I think that's what I would do. Because that man is getting mad. He's driving me crazy. Daddy, you're cool. Thank you, baby. Guess what? Sit down. Wow. See what I put. I bought favorite your favorite chocolate and biscuits. Mm. 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 This and that. You like it? Thank you. Mm. Good girl. You know, I always want to see you happy. And that is why I bring all this to be happy. That you always make me happy, but I want to go to sleep. Actually, um, I'm really fighting to turn it to make sure I, I get to school late so that you go back to school as soon as possible. And I believe that soon you will go back to school. Hey, thank you, Daddy. You're the best. Good. You know you're my princess. My, my, my one and the only princess. I asked Cosmos for a divorce, but he refused. So what do you intend doing about it? Well, I want to look for an apartment where Diana and I would stay for a while. At least till the divorce paper goes through. If that's the case, why don't you move in here? I mean, I have so many rooms for you to stay, you and Diana. Yeah. No, we can't. In as much as we would love to, but <laughs> it would be risky for us because I don't want us to stay somewhere Cosmos will be able to find us. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay, in that case, um, why don't you give me account details? So I'll see if I can put a little something inside it. Say, um, 500,000 to find a new place. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's good. That's right. Of course, that would be nice. And <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I should be going now. Okay. Uh, please do take care of. <laughs> <laughs> sure will. <laughs> Boy, why are you looking like that now? Do you know the woman that just left now? She came here for visa. She wants to travel over. That's my wife. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you have been scarce these days. I really wanted to know how things are going. Well, things are okay. Just that, um, the lawyer is working on the divorce. So I, I think before you know it, it, sh it should be ready. Cosmos will have no choice 
done to divorce me, whether he liked it or not. Oh, uh, that's good, that's good. But what are you still doing in his house? I thought I gave you money to look for a more suitable place. Um, that's true, but the, the houses I've been seeing, the, the houses the agent has been showing me, it's not really nice, you know. And those that are really cool, it's kind of expensive. Well, um, I put in 200,000 to your account in addition to the 500,000 I gave him before. At least with that, you can, I'm sure you can get something a little better. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm grateful. I appreciate it. Look, thank you. Anyway, you're the mother of my child now, so I don't want you to lack anything at all. And my daughter in particular, I want her to be very, very comfortable wherever she is. Hmm, okay. Thank you. That's that right now. Okay, no problem. Take care. Mm -hmm. I want to pay Diana's uh, school fees. I want her to go back to school. Well, I don't want her to go to that school any longer. I want to change her to a new school. You don't want her to go back to that school anymore now. Why? The school is doing well. Reasons best known to me. I do not pay for the fees. I'm the one paying the bills. For this particular one, I said I'm ready to pay her school fees. Did I ask you to bring the money? <laughs> Storyteller. I'm ready to. It's now done of a new day, huh? Not to worry. I'll pay the bills as usual. So, um, how soon will the papers be ready? There isn't no. Uh, or you're still bringing us to um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'll transfer the money into your company account as soon as possible. But please, 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 I need this paper urgently. You don't, you don't need to beg this. Our job is a passport. That is this passport, look at. This one is Canada. I know. This is Canada. This is America. This is Europe. I assure you, you know this time. Um, today is uh, Monday, Monday. Come on Friday. Come and pick it on Friday. Okay, to be ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, we're just doing our job. <laughs> Thanks. All right. All right then. I should take my leave now. My regards to your family. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> nah, this, this boy will not put me in trouble. <laughs> Boy, I found now. Nice. Look, this, this lady just left here now. And I told her to come back on Friday. Let this thing be ready by Friday. Oh. Look, I'm tired of police kills you. <laughs> Diana, Diana, please be fast. We're running late. Uh, who kept you so long, Diana? You're not putting on it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> My girls did that in time. But where are we going to? We were leaving. To where? But how come Daddy never told me about it? Because we wanted it to be a surprise. surprise. Not to worry. You will see your Daddy at the airport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. We're ready. So you could send down the taxi. What? The taxi broke down. So what will become of us now? How do we get to the airport? Oh, okay, okay. You're sending, you're sending another one. Oh, cool. All right, all right. Please be fast. We're running late. Oh, wait, thank you. Yeah. And I'm so stressed now. Come, come, come. And I did the insurance in June. Mom, we called Dad. Ask him on your way to the airport. Yeah, I did that a while. Daddy said he's already at the airport. Wait there for me. Okay. I will drop to him at the airport. Be fast, so we're late. Mom, what was the name of the country we are going to? Canada. Wow, I've heard about Canada. Yeah. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? I told you we're running late, sir. Christmas! Dad? Yes, dear. Is this part of the surprise? It's all right, dear. I will take you to Canada myself, dear. Okay. You think you can run away with my daughter? I know everything about you. But I know all your secrets. Well, let me tell you something. I won't let you take my daughter to another man. It's not what you think. I don't know how Fidel is going to know that he's the biological father of Diana. And ever since, he's been threatening to take her away from me. So I had no choice than to leave town, leave the country to Canada, where he won't be able to reach or find us. I know all that. Yes. And I have an eye on people's. How did you know? I mean, how come you never said anything of this while? You expected me to say something, right? Mm -hmm. When Diana told me of an uncle who normally comes to give her gift. The same uncle said to her that he was her father. That was when I started suspecting. Later, you came up with another gimmick. You stopped her from going to school. For what reason? No payment for school fees. That was why I started digging so down. I knew my meeting with Mr. Adelis was planned by him. So I started up. Because all he wanted was to take my daughter away. Who is Mr. Luke? Eh. 
I never heard of that name before. Never heard of that name before. I don't know anyone by that name. All I did was for the good of our family, for us. I told him to change the DNA result. I thought he did, because he was the only one that knows about the secret. I only wanted to bury the secret. Honestly, I did it because of the love I have for you, for Diana, for us. I only wanted to save our marriage. Honestly. You are this. You are a wicked woman! You! I don't trust you. And stop cooking for Diana. On no account, you agree that Fidelis is Diana's father. You will try every possible means to convince him that he is not. You have enslaved yourself to me for life. And don't even think of leaving this country. How did you know I was about to leave the country? The agent, you always have met him well. He's my friend. He runs. He vacates. I saw you. I saw you the day you came to meet him. At the bar. I didn't know she's your wife. In any case, let me call her to come and take your passport back. No. Leave her. Are you sure? I want her. She wouldn't listen. You know what you will do? Hmm? Whatever money she gives you, you keep it. You will split it into two. You have half, then you leave half for me. I made him think uh, you told me about the travel issue. And I warned you against it. But you wouldn't listen. So whatever money you give to Timothy, he split it into two. He takes half, then he gave me half. And I also told him to assure you that he's going to bring the taxi that will take you to the airport. We planned all that. So you mean... You mean the visa... is fake? Yes. Original fake. That's solid fake. Because you think that you're smart. I'm always a step ahead of you. I'm so sorry. It's for Jerry. It's... Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgive you. I <laughs> will never, never forgive you. Please. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, you look so worried. Is everything okay? Is everything is fine. It is not fine at the same time. What is this? My sister. Do you know my husband found out about my things? Hey! That one I told you about. Hey! How did he find out? Huh? I told you to block your ex. Of course, I blocked him. Or I blocked him, but he kept on calling me different numbers. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. He's really desperate. Very desperate. Do you know the one he came up with? He came up with the story that he's the father to Diana. Ha! Ah. And I know very well that I stopped dating him when I met Cosmos. Hey! Yeah? I'm sure that. Cosmos is the father to Diana. I'm hundred percent sure. I didn't make that kind of mistake now. What kind of what kind of man thing is this? I think there is something you should do. What? You should go for DNA. By the time DNA proves that he's not the father of uh, Diana, he will stop troubling you. Who will I go for DNA? It's, it's him and Diana now, to be sure. So while I'm at it with uh, my ex. What will I tell Cosmos? Huh? The annoying part of it all is that Cosmos right now detests me. He doesn't even trust me any longer. So you know what that means? Stan, no. This is why I told you then to make sure you tell your husband if your ex keeps disturbing you. No, I just didn't want him to start misunderstanding everything. You know? That was even why I, I didn't tell him. I was only trying to protect his marriage. So look, look, look where I've, I, I, I've entered now. Stan, you can still make amends. Plead with him. Tell him you are sorry for keeping that thing away from him. Of course, it looks very good. Okay. Okay. That's not great. <laughs> okay. That's it. All done. All done. <laughs> All done. What did I tell you? I thought I told you I don't want to see you anywhere near my daughter. What are you doing here? Cosmos, please, don't do this to me. You know there's no how I would stop being used to my daughter. You know. You now go against my rules in this house. See? I want me to repeat myself and say it again. I don't want to see you close to my princess. I will do you what you would regret all. Stay away from her. Honey, don't do this. Honestly, don't. Cosmos, please. Please don't do this right now. At least for the sake of our daughter. I want you to leave this room right now. Cosmos, please. But, Daddy, why are you talking to mommy like that? Oh, I should have. See, my daughter, your mom is irresponsible. And I don't want her to corrupt you with her bad attitude. Hmm? What type of attitude? You are still too young to understand. But I believe that with time, I will tell you. So, you're helping me at the bar was a shared 
you wanted to use me to get at my daughter? Diana is my daughter and not yours. No, Diana is not your daughter and will never be. I will get my daughter back no matter what it takes. And to show you how determined I am to get that girl into my house, I'll let you in on a secret you never knew before. Mama is. My chances of getting a woman pregnant currently are very, very slim because of an improperly treated STD. Diana is my only hope, and I'll fight tooth and nail to get that girl back to my house. And you will not succeed. You not getting women pregnant is not of my business. What is my business? So you want to use that style to come and chance me and take my daughter. It will not work, oh. You will not get Diana. So I want you to remove your mind where that girl is. Good. Then prepare to meet me in court. <laughs> okay. No problem. Let's see how you will win. You think you win? Okay, no problem. Let's see how you win. No matter how far you want to go, you will not win it. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, finished. finished. My own is finished. What happened? Hmm. My husband has threatened to leave the house for me on this man. Uh -uh. Why? Because of that thing now, because of my ex. Hey, I don't even know what to do. He said that he, he, he said that he's, he's scared that my ex will come and kidnap Diana and take her away from me. Why not report this case to the authority? And I've already told him to go for a DNA test. No, but he refused. He refused to go for a DNA test. Saying that I connived with my ex to, to, to take Diana away from me. Hey, God. You know, that's because you hid it from him. Eh? Now he finds it difficult to trust you. Well, so, where is he planning to take Diana to? I don't know. I don't even know what to do. Do you know anybody he listens to? Mm -hmm. If you go and plead with the person to talk to them. don't listen to anyone or accept Diana. People said I shouldn't come close to Diana anymore. I'm serious. Oh, would, you go to, would, would you go with me to? Talk to him. You just say that he doesn't listen to anybody. Hey, you think he will listen to me? I'll advise you to take it to God in prayer. I believe he will touch his heart. Eh? He will change. Hey, take it easy and put your trust in God. I'm sure he will handle everything. You get ready. We are leaving here tomorrow morning. Why? Just a um, change of environment. But is mommy coming with us? No. Why? Because she's a bad influence. Oh, I won't leave you, except mommy comes with us. Okay, come, come, let me come. No mind. You, you go and pick some of your things, right? Hmm? Okay. Mommy will come with us later. Okay. Huh? Promise. Yeah. Promise, promise. You know that well, that's most small cookies that you normally like. You lied to me. How? What, what, what are you talking about? Your husband confronted me. My husband? You know what? I have decided to take this matter to court. No, 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 no. It hasn't gotten to this. It hasn't got to this at all. At least we can settle this and make happy. I mean, I mean what? I mean what? You deceived me. You deceived me. Telling me you're going to divorce Cosmo and that you move into a, a, another apartment. 
One thing among them you never did. Um, I can explain, honestly. You know, I, I, I don't know how he found out about everything. So this, this alone disorganized our plans. You know what? I am going to go to court and make you lose custody of Diana. Remember, I know your secrets. Please, it just, just, I'm so sorry, honestly. For, for real, I, I know we can, we can settle this, please. See you in court. I need your help. I know you know what is going on. Fidelis has threatened to go to court and take Diana away from me. Why did you hide his daughter away from him? Why? I never knew who the real father was. I was so in love with Fidelis as at that time. But the only problem I had with him was he slept around a lot. When Cosmos came along, he showed me love. One thing led to another, and I slept with him. When I realized I was pregnant, I approached your brother, Fidelis. I told him, but he denied me. He denied us, saying he didn't want to have anything to do with the baby or myself. And it's us. <laughs> Every woman knows the real father of their baby. Truth be told, Fidelis is the father of my daughter. But because he denied us from the onset, that was why I had no choice than to approach Cosmos, who looked responsible, intelligent, and seemed to have a promising future. My dear, good looks and intelligence doesn't determine anyone's bright future. You should know that. That's true. That was a mistake. But um, that notwithstanding, please help me not to, brother. I don't want my marriage to be ruined. Try. I'll do what I can do. You never told me you abandoned Linda when she was pregnant. That does not justify her hiding my baby from me. You told her you don't want to have anything to do with her. What if she had terminated the pregnancy? Well, thank God she did not terminate it. I want my daughter back. <laughs> your daughter? You want your daughter back? The daughter you never wanted? Stop being selfish here. You have to consider Cosmos. He has been the one taking care of this child. Besides, he's the one the baby knows as a father. Well, that is about to change. Never change. Cosmos, please. Please, let's not allow this case to be taken to court. For real. If, it's, if this case has been taken to court, we would lose big time. Mm -hmm. You think I will lose? You think, right? <laughs> I will not lose. It is you that will lose, not me. Because I am going with my daughter far away from here. Please, I beg of you. You know very well that you're not financially stable. Fidelis has money. And if he takes this case out to court, 
he might win. And I'm afraid we might lose. And you know very well that the court would never grant custody to the child, to a murderer. You know. Then the court will grant me the custody of the child. Yes. Please. Fidelis has proof that he is the biological father of Diana. Like, they would grant him custody if they know that he is the real father to Diana. You evil woman. See the mess you put us in. Look at the mess. Because of your stupidity, because of your inaptitude. Let me tell you, Dennis will not win this case. He will not win this case. Please, Cosmos. At least let's, let's allow peace to reign. Let's settle this whole case out of court. Please. You, you know, please, I beg of you, let's just settle out of court and think of the psychological effect it will have on our daughter, Diana, if she finds out that you are not her father, that she's got another father in Fidelis. Come on, she would not be fine. You're the one preaching peace now. When you stand before my daughter, and be talking to me anyhow, calling me names. Now you are talking about peace. I am going far, far away, my daughter, as soon as possible. Look at your life. Awesome. I hope you have been able to resolve everything. It's for we. He's still threatening to leave the house with his daughter. Are you serious? Yes. But have you been praying about it? Of course. My dear, I have been praying. Oh, God. I'm sure God will do it. Hmm? Just keep praying. God will do it. Everything will be sorted out. Your husband will not go anywhere with Diana. And he won't leave you. Believe so much in God. Okay? Me so. Everything will be fine. Wow. This is a very serious thing. Mm, I hope so. So, why are you here? We are here to look for a solution to this whole problem. Is Diana in? Yes, she's in. She's upstairs with the mom. I wouldn't want her to hear what we're saying. Um, I practically drag Fedlis here to put a stop to this whole problem. I talked to my brother and he has agreed that Diana stay with you. Oh, wow. thank you for that. Um, don't uh, start thanking me yet. You will have to sign that document. Inside the document are the, is the agreements and conditions under which I will allow Diana to stay with you in your house. It was prepared by my lawyer. The conditions are that you will let Diana come and visit me during the weekends and on holidays that her school may have. In addition to that, I want to be part of Diana's life. I also want to be paying child support monthly to ensure her well-being. I know it's uh, not part of the agreement, but lastly, and most importantly, I would like Diana to know that I am her biological father. She's too young to handle the truth. She's too young. Cosmos here. 
is the father to have room for our lives. We have to be patient. We really have to be patient. Now we have to wait till when she's matured enough to handle the truth. When she's mature. Okay, fine. But I want the best for her. And most importantly, firstly, I want her to resume school immediately. Well, I have heard everything you say. And uh, I'm okay with it. But uh, I have one problem with the issue of Diana coming to spend a holiday in your house. Um, she's not used to it at all. So if I'm to accept that, that means somebody must accompany her to your house before she'll be able to do that. Uh, that's not a problem. You can bring her, you can come with her to my house. I don't mean coming with her, I mean somebody that was sister. Because I can't come to stay in your house with that. This is the man that said he's my father. Oh, don't worry. He was actually joking. You know, this uncle used to joke a lot. Go and give him a hug. <laughs> Welcome, my angel. How are you? I'm fine. Hmm? I'm fine. Hmm. Wow. Thank you so much. At least this has come to an end. I'm happy we all have come to an agreement. I know. Everyone is not happy, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, um, what's the name of our daughter again? Her name is Diana. Why? Why do you ask? No, I was just thinking that maybe we should change her name to New Beginning. New Beginning? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Who are these men? I am Detective Jude from the state side, and here is my colleague. This is Linda Cosmos. You are under arrest for the murder of one Mr. Luke Okena. You are advised to remain silent, for whatever you say or do will be used against you at the court of law. Officer, arrest her. From you. Take her. Hey. <laughs> Ha! Move! 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 